It began in the midst of the cataclysm that was the Second World War. The U.S. Navy realized that fighting in theaters halfway around the world would present new challenges in logistics and would require a vast infrastructure. As a result, the Navy's Bureau of Yards and Docks, which was in charge of the Civil Engineer Corps, sought permission to establish military construction battalions to take over from the civilian contractors that had been involved in building naval bases prior to the war's outbreak. Once authorized, the new organization, named the Naval Construction Battalions, or CBs, was able to recruit experienced, highly skilled craftsmen, electricians, carpenters, plumbers, equipment operators, men from virtually any construction or building trade. The first battalion of CBs, with their iconic Fighting Bee logo, landed on Midway Island to begin work on the new airstrip and to start the massive cleanup of damage caused by the Japanese bombing. From the construction and defense of Henderson Field on Guadalcanal to the Normandy landing, CBs participated in every major amphibious assault in the war. They quickly earned a reputation for exceptional creativity. If materials weren't available, the CBs used whatever they could to get the job done. In the more than 70 years since their founding, in wars and during peacetime, the CBs have built entire bases bulldozed and paved thousands of miles of roadway and airstrips, and accomplished a myriad of construction projects. Their work continues today, with such projects as the reconstruction of a historic seaplane ramp on nearby Coronado Island. Early on, the Seabees adopted the motto, the difficult we do immediately, the impossible takes a little longer. It is no stretch to say that this catchphrase might equally apply to the various technologies that constitute the powder metallurgy industry. Successfully manufacturing components deemed difficult by other fabrication technologies is part of PM's stock in trade. Finding creative solutions to fabricate parts that those same technologies would deem impossible is an unmistakable advantage PM possesses. It may take a little longer, but PM finds a way. Winning parts in the 2015 PM Design Excellence Awards competition, sponsored by the Metal Powder Industries Federation, forcefully illustrate the truth of this claim. Whether conventional press and center or metal injection molding, PM answers the call of designers faced with difficult, even seemingly impossible challenges. With the ability to tweak materials for specific design objectives, as well as through creative use of machining, PM offers solutions not previously considered feasible. By not accepting the status quo, PM fabricators are altering the part-forming landscape, taking conventional press and center into MIMS traditional preserve and vice versa, as well as uncovering new applications in mature product categories. And by exposing outstanding examples of their work to the harsh light of competition, these far-sighted exponents of the PM arts have committed to sharing their successes, not only with prospective customers, but with their fellow PM practitioners, to the ultimate benefit of all. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great pleasure to present to you the winners in this year's competition. Seven grand prizes and seven awards of distinction have been given. We'll begin with the Awards of Distinction. SMC Powder Metallurgy Incorporated has won the Award of Distinction in the Automotive Engine category for a stainless steel flange made for Kendrion FAS controls. The component connects and seals a spill valve operating in an automotive fuel system. Replacing a wrought part that required heavy machining, the PM flange is fabricated from a proprietary premix developed in order to achieve the required dimensional stability. The customer believes this is the only PM part used in a high-pressure fuel system, and it is expected to expand into other platforms. To date, over 1.6 million flanges have been made and shipped. Indo-US MIMTEC Private Limited India has received the award of distinction in the automotive chassis category for a MIM 4605 low alloy steel top plate made for Multimatic Inmet Canada. The part goes into shock absorbers of Chevrolet Camaro automobiles. The complexity of the part with its 18 holes and six thin ribs that connect to a ring around a central hole presented a challenge to complete filling. It is produced close to net shape 
with surface grinding to achieve flatness and a facing operation to achieve height tolerance being the only secondary operations. This application is a new design for MIM and delivers an estimated savings of 25% over the previous machine version. Indo-US MIMTECH Private Limited India has received the award of distinction in the Hardware Appliances category for two MIM 17-4 PH stainless steel parts. Front and rear keepers that go into industrial electrical locks made for Rutherford Controls Incorporated. The parts complexity with many cross holes and sharp neural features required the use of multiple slides, some moving at different angles. The parts are made close to net shape, requiring only a final coining to adjust a small distortion and a tapping operation on the front keeper. Annual quantities are 20,000 per part. Poor Wright Taiwan Company Limited Taiwan has won an award of distinction in the Hand Tools Recreation category for five components comprising an output gearbox that serves as feedback for the anti-twist lock on a drill driver. The parts intermediate flange, anti-twist lock, mount ring, centering sleeve, and planet gears are made from diffusion alloyed steel. The flange is compacted using two upper and two lower punches, and powder moving technology is employed to achieve a more uniform density distribution. The design of the parts, with extremely thin sections and highly complicated geometries, required precise control by a CNC compacting press. The PM design saved more than 40% over the cost of manufacturing through forging and machining. Another award of distinction in the Hand Tools Recreation category has been given to Indo-US MIMTECH Private Limited India for a 4605 low alloy steel bolt used in the Cricket 22LR rifle made by Keystone Sporting Arms LLC. Made via MIM. The part replaced one produced by brazing together three machined parts, delivering an estimated 35% cost savings in the process. The part's design features many cross holes and undercuts, requiring complex side core matchings in the molding cavity. The fabricator delivers 60,000 pieces annually. Indo-US MIMTECH Private Limited India has earned two awards of distinction in the electronic electrical category. The first award has been given for a MIM 174 PH stainless steel shell made for Hirose Korea Company Limited. The part goes into a charging assembly for mobile phones. The complex geometry of the part with thin cross sections and internal undercuts was achieved with a slide in slide mechanism moving on specially designed cam tracks. All dimensions are achieved in the as-centered condition. The MIM part replaced an earlier design that used sheet metal processing and welding, with an estimated 20% cost savings. Two million of the parts are delivered each month. The second award of distinction earned by Indo-US MIMTECH Private Limited India in the electronic electrical category is for two parts a male foolproof device and a female polarizer made for Amphenol Air LB France. Made via MIM from 4340 low alloy steel, the parts go into an electric connector assembly made for Airbus. Both parts are fabricated to net shape with all dimensions achieved in the as-MIM condition. This includes the threads which are formed through auto unwinding in the tooling. The fabricator delivers 320,000 pieces annually. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the winners of awards of distinction in the 2015 PM Design Excellence Awards competition. Please join with us in congratulating representatives of the winning companies as we invite them to come up to the stage to receive their awards.